my name is Joseph Stodrell, and this is a video for the Shuttleworth Foundation application. So, in this world, we have a whole lot of pollution. Unwanted materials are labeled as trash and thrown away into our surroundings, buried under the earth, or lit on fire. At the same time, there are a lot of poor people, people in lack of housing with proper insulation, gardens to grow their own food, or the educational opportunities that could empower them to establish these things for themselves. Often it is these poor people who live face to face with pollution on a daily basis. Their waterways are choked with plastic bags and debris and trash piles high in their streets only to be lit on fire and breathed by all. Established systems of waste management from the developed world offer obvious advantages over open dumping, river disposal, and street side incineration but rather than being truly beneficial solutions are merely more effective ways of sweeping massive amounts of trash under the carpet. These disposable systems drain natural capital, tax living systems, and do not offer long-term and practical solutions for people worldwide. I want to teach people how to turn trash into treasure by enabling them to create simple and useful products with what is normally thrown away. This is upcycling. It furthers entrepreneurship and strengthens the local economy. For example, plastic packaging can be insulating wall filler. Tires rammed with earth can be dense sources of thermal mass and fortification. Food scraps and other organics can be soil amendments. And scrap metal can be used in blacksmithing, as well as feed into hardware fabrication. Through these localized systems of upcycling, communities are enabled to make better use of what they already have and material extraction is minimized as well as dependence on costly imports. At the same time, pollution is checked with the containment and utilization of waste materials as practices such as water disposal, incineration, and landfilling are no longer needed. The result is a cleaner community and environment. It alleviates poverty through the production of educational opportunities, proper housing, and decentralized food systems. In 2012, with the help of Great and Transition Town, I founded the Trash to Treasure Festival at the local dumping site, where we extracted and utilized waste materials to create several examples of upcycled buildings and products. I want to further explore how this celebration can serve as a tool for education and rehabilitation, and how it can spread to other dumping sites in debilitated areas around South Africa and abroad. In consultation with my growing network of specialists, I want to explore the creation of a people-powered upcycling, upcycling center in Graden and Hanadendal as well. Alternative and upcycled products can be researched and refined, and the long-term feasibility of these small-scale businesses and products be proven in the local context. Upcycling practices and their effects on, upon the community can be weighed and compared with those of conventional waste management and recycling industries. Due to the lack of existing waste management infrastructure, the, grading, the greater Grayton area offers a unique potential for these kinds of upcycling business opportunities. I want to explore the founding of a new kind of waste management for small communities worldwide within the communities of Grayton and Hanadendal. During the fellowship year, I plan to design and manage local exchange centers in the Great Nhanadendal area to continue in the development of rehabilitation and celebration with the third edition of the Trash to Treasure Festival at the Great Green Park, to find a suitable second dumping site for festival, Im festival implementation elsewhere, and to establish a proper web presence and home for open source upcycling resources and educational materials. Thank you very much for your consideration. Aloha.